T-minus 60 seconds and counting. All systems are go. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. We're about 30 seconds from the launch of the Mars X transfer shuttle. We've got to go for auto sequence start. Hand off to the shuttle's onboard computer. Shuttle computer now in full control of all critical functions. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All engines throttle up. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Mars X Transfer Shuttle, heading for the International Space Station, where the crew will spend five days waiting for the arrival of the Mars Transfer Vehicle that will take them to Mars. Thirty seconds into the flight, all systems nominal. Everyone and welcome back to Take On Mars. I'm your host, 2005 Guy Vrow 2. Okay, so we've gone through all the tutorials now. So the last ones that we've got to try are Space Program, Scenarios, or Editor. Now, the reason why the editor is highlighted at the moment is because I wanted to see what everything had to offer. And basically, the editor is in game editor used to create scenarios or simply play around with what the game has to offer. Very tempting. Uh, the first one on the list was uh, Space Program, which is career-like mode, where you take on the role of vehicle operator and later on astronaut or astronaut, um, which might be a little bit less towards what I'd like to do, but and the scenario, uh, individual scenario missions centered around specific situations and locations. That's sort of what I'd like, like to do. I'd, personally, I'd like to probably do the editor mode, but I want to see what the game actually has. So not just purely, there we go, off to the, the planet with no and on site and uh, what we're actually going to do uh, and not know where we're going to start. So probably best to start with the space program first and then let's see uh, in the next episode maybe what scenario is like and then finally once we get a bit more hand handle on the game maybe the editor. Uh, hopefully sooner than later with the editor because that sounds very interesting. That flash was a bit weird. Okay, so let's start up the space program first. What the heck is a red blip that keeps coming up here? That's a... Is that because I'm talking? Hmm, weird. 
Okay, so let's start up the space program first and then see how it goes from there. I guess these uh, little satellites are taking pictures and it's working about with the planet or something. Okay, new game. It's the only option. Ah, we have the option. Robotics or manned? I'd like to do manned. But seeing that we haven't done anything robotic-wise uh, yet, let's do robotics. That was a little bit loud. Oh, wait a minute. Shouldn't we have done a tutorial on the robotics side yet? Um, okay. Why can't we use the lights? Was there a... oops. Okay, so it's open. Oh, hold. Ready? Is that it? Okay, so what do we do next? Ah, arrow keys. Okay, so let's go and close that because we're... Oh, now we've got the mouse, that's weird. Okay, how do we move the camera? Can we move... Ah, oh, there we go. Move the mouse button. Oop. I hate it when my mouse goes all in different directions by itself. Okay. Is this really everything that we can do? Press the right mouse button to up. Move cursor. Okay, so we have to do something with the soil. How do we do that? Really? You have to, if you do the, this way, you have to do single clicks. How about this one? Nothing? Okay, so... Oh, that, that doesn't look safe. Uh, how do we... Yeah, that doesn't look safe. Okay, um, how do we do the... Ready. Okay. So that was mid mass. Welcome to the space program. We are in the mission control room, from where you will send vehicles to the surface of Mars on various scientific missions. First off, you will be asked to choose between game time and real time. You may skip time if using game time, but time only passes during play. The real time setting is a bit more hardcore and does not allow time skipping. Instead, working with real life time. This choice is given only once, so choose wisely. Lastly, the top right of the screen gives you access to three important sections. Tech Research opens the Technology Development Tree, where you can research new technologies that will offer even more possibilities. Encyclopedia contains detailed information and facts about the Red Planet according to your progression. The more objectives you achieve, the more articles you unlock in the Encyclopedia. Objectives lists all the various objectives you will have to complete in the space program. Okay. So, I guess you want to do that one because there's no way in heck that I'm doing real time because there are other games I want to play too. <laughs> so let's do that one. To move between areas within the Mars X Space Agency, such as the map, 
click the appropriate areas on the screen. Alternatively, for faster navigation, use the corresponding buttons at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we can go over, over there. How do we? Ah, uh, I click. Ah, let's have a look. Ah, uh, Q. Okay. Uh, what's that one? Go to the lab. Okay. Um, how do you. Oops. The mouse went off screen and I uh, didn't see it. Okay, go back. Um, so, take tree research, I guess. So, land the chassis. Oh, probe. Yes. Zero probe. Okay, let's go for that one then. Research. Oh wait, that's going to take a uh, very long time. So, uh, how do we skip time? So that's going to take about eight hours, and that's eight hours of gameplay. Eek. Skip eight hours. <laughs> Okay. Ouch. What the heck was that? Okay. Uh, robotics mission complete. It says. Um, research. So that one doesn't look like it's finished yet. It's still one. Oh, total of nine hours. Okay. My bad. Um, go to lab then. Nice. And the static room. This is the construction lab, where you can manage the vehicles you have already created, load an existing vehicle, or create a new one. Provided your funds are sufficient and the technologies have been researched, you'll be able to come up with a wide range of very complex vehicles. To create a new vehicle, first select the type of chassis in the list of available chassis and press the select chassis button with the left mouse button. Then you can select the instruments you would like to equip your vehicle with. By selecting on board, you can visualize the instruments that the vehicle has installed. And by pressing add, you can browse the list of all the instruments that have been researched so far and make your selection. The icons on the right of the instruments list filter the instruments by category. It is then easier to visualize the slots where the instruments will be installed. Green for an empty slot and red for already used. You can rotate the camera by holding the right mouse button and zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. This comes in handy for better visualizing your vehicle. To install an instrument, choose the one you want by clicking it in the list. Then click on an available slot to finalize the operation. To remove an instrument, simply click on the red slot that contains the instrument. The requirements window contains a list of mandatory instruments the vehicle must be equipped with. The vehicle cannot be finalized if the requirements haven't been fulfilled. One last thing, to aid with decision making, each instrument that you select possesses a detailed description displayed in the right window of the screen. Once you're satisfied with your vehicle, you can test it in the Mars Yard or save it. Select back to cancel the construction. Okay, so let's go to construction. Great, granted we still have to wait an hour. Um, so let's create a new vehicle. What kind of shot? Really? We've only got a, a probe? Hmm, seems like we've only got a probe. That's not good. So let's go for a wide angle camera. Where's the power thing go? In the middle, I guess. Battery? Oh, other side. Okay, now what do we do? Test?
Okay. So it's landed on the side. <laughs> okay, uh, how do we exit? Oop, not that one apparently. Um, okay, right. Ah, okay, we've got the cursor. Ah, and capture. Okay, we go back. What's that? You see, I can't see it because my recording stuff is right there. Uh, okay, that's not going to help. Seven control. Commands list. No, that's not what we're after. Panel level, no. Notifications, no. Hmm. I'm a little bit stumped. If you haven't uh, noticed already. Do we have to keep making lots and lots of pictures? Come on. I keep clicking all day. Let us out. Okay, this is not going to go us anywhere fast. Uh, how the hell do we exit this? Kill the power and let us out. Okay, that's not really helping us. Oh, I'm keep doing that. Okay, this one here. The map serves as a hub to access new missions as well as ongoing missions. From here you will send vehicles to Mars as well as track your overall progress in exploration. By clicking on a location, we can see an overview of the location itself, displaying missions and vehicles on the surface. If we select a mission on the map, we can see general information about it, with more available in the mission details. Provided the mission does not have an assigned vehicle, we can send a new one to complete it, or Assign a nearby vehicle on the surface that can complete the tasks at hand. Keep in mind that the vehicle list to the right includes both vehicles nearby and vehicles that would need to be launched, but only displays those vehicles that can complete the tasks required. From here, we can also connect to vehicles that are already on the surface by either selecting them directly or selecting their mission and then pressing connect to vehicle. Also, should a vehicle be severely damaged and unusable, we can shut it down by selecting it and pressing shut down vehicle. Lastly, should you choose to send a new vehicle, you may customize it by selecting vehicle details, followed by modify vehicle, which will take you to the rover lab for customization. Okay, so... Mars orbit. All missions for this location has been complete. Okay, so let's do that one. I can't see how much budget we've got because of software. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I'll have to find that out uh, during the editing process, but something tells me we can't even afford it. Okay. Um, what's that one? Throw anything deeper. Oh. Let's go for the first corner, launch vehicle, and see what happens. Oh, it looks like we've got an achievement. Okay, can we control this?
Oh, we got to another achievement. Okay. And we're rolling. <laughs> Didn't really see what the mission was. Okay, we've landed on Mars and we can't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, how do we get out of this mess? I see. I guess we do disconnect again. Disconnect. Was that it? Let's have a look. Yep, we've got uh, a vehicle down there. Okay, so of course I haven't. Can't see what the mission budget is again. Uh, please bear with me for a second, I'll just quickly double check. Okay, so it seems that the robotics one is quite boring, tedious, and after 45 minutes of it, I found myself almost asleep. So let's hope that we have better luck with the uh, astronaut. So let's try that. Um, hmm. Let's hope it gives us an option to change from the horrible robotics to maybe hopefully something more interesting like the astronaut. Fingers crossed. Yes, we have the option to do manned. T minus 60 seconds and counting. All systems are go. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. We're about 30 seconds from the launch of the Mars X Transfer Shuttle. We've got to go for auto sequence start. Hand off to the shuttle's onboard computer. Shuttle computer now in full control of all critical functions. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10. 9. 8. 7. Six. All engines throttle up. Three. Two. One. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Mars X Transfer Shuttle heading for the International Space Station where the crew will spend five days waiting for the arrival of the Mars Transfer Vehicle that will take them to Mars. Seconds into the flight. All systems nominal. He talking to us? Oh, 
Oh my god, I can't read that. Enter ISS through PMA. What the hell is it? And then gear. Don't I? No. Come on, click it. Okay, can't click on anything like that. There's something that. Oh, exercise. So, do we have to exit? Okay, let's try E. E to disembark. Okay. Ooh! This is how we're going to get lost in space. Let's open up the door. How long is this thing going to depressurize? Out of fuel? That's not a good idea. This is taking forever. Why are we on the side? I can't get my side up. Oh boy, talk, it, talk about boring! Okay, uh, I'll cut here and I shall see you guys uh, once this freaking door's been opened. If this is the kind of crap that real astronauts have to go through, then sign me out of it. <laughs> I would never, ever put up with this kind of uh, long decompression BS. I wouldn't be able to stand it. Okay, um, let's go to the other option in the games menu. This is getting really really rubbish 
Okay, after having wasted an awful lot of time in both of those now, uh, so that's the robots and the um, the manned mission, let's try scenarios and hope that we've got a better experience. Okay, so what the hell is that? So, joint, ju junior? Sorry, I'm going to have to Google that. Okay, so it's uh, four different things that could mean, but let's try it. Not the rovers. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hope that we've got a better option with it. 1997. Okay, let's try it. Let's hope it's better experience than that last one that, that we had with Rovers. Oops, we landed on top of it. <laughs> okay, now what do we do? take control of the uh, unit and so this thing so apparently nothing's happening hmm what was that nope thing is supposed to be okay so we've got the rover down there so why can't we do anything with it Okay, so they're pretty much 
Oh, okay. Can we uh, stay on the rover and stay on top of this thing? Okay. Um, camera view would be nice of it. Can we have a camera view of the rover, please? Can we have a bigger view, please? Oh boy. Master system. That's it, just master system and... Uh, Flips. Oh, it gets stuck. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, the camera. There we go. Hard. Okay, let's turn around. Oops, what's that uh, marking up there? I can't see it. Oop. Explore complete. What is that thing? That's where the screw. It was. No, that's just those standard controls. Turning maybe a little something else. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little bit stumped, but let's uh, try and go out that bit further. See if we can find out what all the others are. And see what happens. One's going up. Are we getting close to it? to it? Is that what it is? Or are we getting out of range of this thing? Okay, they're both going up. Oh. Okay, so how do we make a picture using the, uh, the rover? that over there. Okay, the rover's now in it. Hmm. I 
Oh, it's linked though, isn't it? It's... Hmm. Not sure what we have to do. How much further are we going? <laughs> Which way is back? I'm a terrible driver when it comes to distance. Oh, actually I'm worse at navigata navigating. <laughs> Are we heading back or not? What's that sound? Oh, what's that over there? Our vision in it is going, going less, so let's go over there. Can't see our vehicle, uh, our vehicle on screen, but I think we can see that round thing in front of us now. So we are coming back. Terrible sense of direction. Ah, uh, there it is. There's the rover. See it now. Yep. So we need to go that way. So we can see what's over there. Oopsie. So how much further in that direction do we have to go? Are we following our own trail or something? <laughs> Feels like it. It's definitely disappeared from view again. Okay, let's stop the rover for the moment. Can we see it on screen anywhere? And the answer is. No. Okay, so something tells me we've gone way further than where we had to go to for those bits. So let's go a little bit more that way. There's our little crash. So let's go down here. I see it, yeah. I think it's just coming into range. B 
visual range. Are we moving? Yeah. Well, um, I think the battery's getting low. So it was so fuzzy we can see the rocks. Could just be the dust storm. One turn. Hmm. Let's keep going in that direction. Looks like there's another one over there somewhere. Let's go that far out, so let's make a U-turn. Okay, there we go, there's our own tracks. And I can see the vehicle to our left. But that is definitely tiny, tiny screen up here. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so let's head back to this platform, shall we? Looks like we're missing the one yellow one over there. Oops. Okay. Um, let's try and get it to go up away. Oops. Making hash job of that turning. That's a little bit better. Okay, um, yeah, so what else do we have around here? Let's 
open them at least. Do it. So actually, how, how do we open up those wiki entries, huh? Oh well. Um, as to what else we do, I have absolutely no idea what else we can do. Um, there's nothing that this thing here itself can do. As to why we've got some controls for it, I have no idea. Then we've got that thing. And can we have a look around us over there? There's nothing else to see or do. Okay, well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the episode there for the moment, guys. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, please leave a like. If you didn't, please let me know why. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching. Oh, Matt, we can do the camera now. Oh, this one, that's what that is. Whoopsie. Okay. So what about that one then? Oh, no, it's, it's that one. Oh, okay, so that's the wide, that's the normal, okay. That's, that's telescope, that's wide. And that is that thing, I guess? Could be a little camera up there. Oh well, seeing that I can't seem to figure out what else we have to do with this thing. Uh, like, yeah, like I said earlier, we're going to have to leave it there for the moment. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, please leave a like. If you didn't, please let me know why. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.
Girls with their nails done now. Enough.